Tom is the head of household, but could the Lindor sampler change the course of the game? Find out now on Big Brother Cheesecake 7 Chocolate Heaven. Hello, I'm Andrew Shevsik Moonves. Welcome to Big Brother Cheesecake 7 Chocolate Heaven. It's day 9 inside the Big Brother Cheesecake house, and this week Tom is the head of household. Who will he nominate for eviction? We'll find out tomorrow. And what will happen in the Lindor sampler? We'll find out shortly. But first, uh, Shawnee literally just messaged me prior to the start of filming. Uh, he said he's very sorry, but he started a new job this week and he was super busy. Uh, I responded... No worries. Glad you're okay. Glad you have a pulse. Uh, and why can't I? You know what I mean. You know what I'm doing. Uh, uh, I should have just done that. Glad you have a pulse. And I asked him if he would appear on Extra Whip uh, this weekend because season six uh, became the first season last season to where everybody appeared on Extra Whip. So hopefully Shawnee keeps up that streak. Uh, I'm waiting for a response. I literally just texted him or messaged him. So. Hopefully, uh, he will appear with Brazil, Nicole, and I on Saturday. If not, Brazil, Nicole, and I are still going to shoot the shit um, because we have a lot to talk about. This is a very good season. We are off to an amazing start. Uh, I really did not expect this season to be as strong as it's been. Uh, and not to say that I expected it to be bad by any means, but we really had fantastic seasons in five and six. And so I thought every show has sort of, you know, a dip. And I was expecting this to be the dip. And so far, it's not a dip. Like, you know, Big Brother Canada, season six and seven was kind of a dip. You know, Big Brother US, you know, pretty much all the teen seasons were like a dip. Uh, and then it finally came back in 20. Uh, but yeah, so no dip this season. Now I want a chocolate dipped cone from Dairy Cream. Mm. And I said Dairy Cream, not Dairy Queen, because Dairy Queen is shit. We have Dairy Cream in Toronto, and it's far better than Dairy Queen. Uh, okay. Next, I forgot to mention, somebody reminded me, and I want to thank that person, uh, that Tom did win the dark blue color set, Park Place and Monopoly, for winning uh, yesterday's Head of Household competition. Uh, will be used in a future Monopoly-themed Golden Power Veto competition. And I was very happy that it came down to Tom and Kilby because they were the two that had the highest scores. The randomizing the questions gives the potential for somebody who scored like four or five to win. But I just think that's the fairest way to do it because if you go in order people will focus on the first five, right? Because they know that they got to get through one to get to two and so on. So I, since the very beginning of Big Brother Cheesecake, I've always done the randomizing thing. And usually the person who has the highest score, if not that, the second highest score will win. It's rare that somebody who has like three out of 10 just, you know, pulls three in a row. Okay, so Tom sent so many videos in today, so much material that I don't even know if I need to do his HOH room, but I'm going to do his HOH room, so let's get to Tom's head of household bedroom. Hey everyone, fucking Tom here. Look a beautiful Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, who wants to see my uh, HOH room? You uh, you better come upstairs, because, uh, you know, I'm not going to live forever. Okay, let's go up the stairs. Wow, a lot of fucking stairs. But I, I, I'm really healthy because in Kelowna I go mountain climbing all the time. Anyway, wow, look at this. Chocolate covered almonds and a whole bunch of other treats. Uh, there's a letter from my wife Cindy, but uh, I'm not gonna read it because it's gonna make me too emotional. And I, I don't wanna be emotional in this house because I gotta get my head in the game. But the video screen thingy is coming down for a video. Let's see, uh, let's look at the screen there. Oh, congratulations on your first HOH. You 
now officially won more competitions than I did my entire 85 days in the house last season. I'm sure you know that Cindy, Cody, and all your video mailbag buddies are all real proud of you. And as a present, we trapped Andrew for you. Shut up, Andrew! This is Tom's game now. Ah, shit. Gotta go. Anyways, congratulations, Tom. Peace out. Wow, thanks, Corey. I'm glad you locked Andrew in that fucking, uh, that thing that that jackass guy was in, uh, Steve-O. You know, when they made the, made the, 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 the Janity thing in Majiggy, the porta potty they made it jingle and jangle, you know, up and down the hill. Fuck. Anyway, thanks everyone. Now I'm going to show you all some home videos from Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. Hey, thanks everyone for the well wishes of, uh, being HOH. Uh, there's beautiful downtown Kelowna. The sales and over there is the ogie pogey i'll give you a better shot later on anyways thanks uh, again and uh yeah i'm hoh beware <laughs> there's a famous ogie pogey as andrew would call it And there's the sales. Downtown Kelowna. Live on location at a Tenelis winery out in southeast Kelowna. It's a mission. Got a nice little deck. Got a little nice view. Here at downtown Kelowna. Enjoy the Tantalus Winery. You can even see the owl. In addition, take a look at this as I leave you with something to think about for today. Okay, keeping with Andrew's theme, if you don't want to be nominated for eviction, which one of these chocolate apples? Would an old man like me like? Take your pick. Let me know in the, in the chat. And uh, hey, you won't get nominated. <laughs> Peace out. Okay, so first of all, the first videos, I got to say, I love uh, those videos. I have never been to that winery in question, but I've always wanted to because of that thing at the front. Also, the Ogie Pogie is real. I went swimming in Lake Okanagan once at Gyro Beach, and the Ogie Pogie came up to me. He wrapped his 37-inch dick around my neck, and I thought, this is how I die. It's pretty ironic, considering I've been thirsty all my life. Uh, but then he just fucked me and then, you know, took off. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, uh, so... I love those videos. Tom is just hilarious. One of a kind. Uh, somebody even asked me today if he's a real person. <laughs> yes, he was a real person. Same thing with Joanne. I'll never forget when Nicole found out she was playing All Stars with Joanne, and Nicole goes, Wait, Joanne is a real person? <laughs> I love it. I think we should set up Tom and Joanne. Oh, no, well, Cindy. Uh, damn it, Cindy. Well, if... I mean, knock on wood, Cindy lives forever, but if she ever kicks the bucket, we should set up to... Oh, wait, and then Joanne has that boyfriend of hers. Okay, knock on wood, he lives forever too. But if Joanne's boyfriend kicks the bucket and Cindy kicks the bucket, then I think we should set up Tom and Joanne on a, on a, on a blind date and record that. That would be just phenomenal. It would be... <laughs> I like drinking wine. Do you like drinking wine? Mmm, I love drinking wine! Stick your 77-year-old cog inside of me right now! Wow. Well, I, uh... I guess there's not much time left, so let's do it! Mmm, that was the best sex ever, Tom. Marry me. Yeah, I think that's how it would go. Anyway, uh, but yeah, then Tom posted that video of the the apple thing, the caramel apple thing. He then said in the video, as you heard, you know, pick out your favorite one and I won't nominate you. It wasn't clear whether he said whoever picks the right one is safe, whoever picks the wrong one is on the block. 
whoever doesn't participate is not on the block, or if this was just a farce, like when Stephen did his whole, uh, you know, hey everyone, send me your nominations and I'll pick the person with the most votes, and of course he just did whatever the hell he wanted to do. Um, but uh, I'm not sure, but it was definitely entertaining, and that's what we live for. And Tom has won two out of the three competitions so far this season, and I gotta say, I, like I said yesterday, super impressed. Okay, moving on, uh, Ronnie uh, show, posted a pic of him in the shower, and so we naturally have to show that. Wow. What I wouldn't give to be that shower head. Uh, okay, next, uh, let's see here. The Big Brother Cheesecake or Facebook group has reached 300 members. Yay! I cannot believe that after five years and seven seasons, 300 people are watching Big Brother Cheesecake. Phenomenal. 300 is a perfect game in bowling. So if I add a 300 in first person, I'm going to kick somebody else out so it stays permanently at 300. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. Last but not least, before we get to the Lindor sampler, um... Willy Wonka has been notified. Uh, they must select a third nominee by 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. Uh, Michael, and with a reason why, privately messaged me, obviously. Michael is automatically on the block. This is week two out of three for losing the Temptation Comp. Tom, you must privately message me the name of a, uh, of a nominee by 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. One person, two weeks in a row, when they did not get Willy Wonka, because I messaged everybody saying yes or no, one person two weeks in a row said, fuck yes, or oh thank god, or I don't need that shit, because they are wanting to get it later in the season when it's worth more when you can make big moves with it. Uh, and I get that. I mean, having it early is good, but there's also something to be said about saving it for later. So if you're not Willy Wonka yet, that's not the end of the world. Everybody gets to do it once. If you stay long enough, you're going to be Willy Wonka eventually. It's just a matter of when. Uh, yeah. Okay. I believe that is everything. I want to make sure I'm not forgetting. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Uh, oh, before we get to the Lindor sampler, one last thing. Some people decided to add extra wedges to the wheel. So, uh, first I'm going to play all the videos of house guests who are adding wedges to the wheel. Hi. I'm adding a wedge to my wheel today for the Linder sampler. Um, today I'm having an alfajor. In terms of candy and snacks, that's the best thing we have in, in Argentina. Uh, I chose a Milka Oreo. It's an alfajor triple. It's because it has three uh, cookies and double stuffing. You have well, all your stuffing and dulce de leche. So here we go. Mm, look at that. Three chocolate cookies, double stuffing, cream, dulce de leche. Covered in chocolate. This must give me a big wedge. Right? So this is a Pepperidge Farm Montauk cookie. Mm. And I like this cookie because it's got a good flavor to it, but it's also soft. I like soft cookies, not hard cookies. We all know what it's about. Come on, it's fine. But the real question is, should I have a chocolate, I guess? I think you would think since it's a chocolate season, I would go with chocolate, but no, I'm vanilla girl. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Two edges or three? Hi, Andrew. It's Owen here to eat some cookie. I've got a chocolate chip cookie uh, that I've already started eating because I love chocolate chip cookies. So here we go. One, two, three. Yum. Okay, so to be clear, 
Javier is adding one wedge. Uh, I messaged him and I said, you took two bites of the cookie, so you want two, right? He didn't realize the rules, and so because he wanted one, I'm allowing him to take one. He's taking less than what he actually submitted, so I'm allowing that. He wants one, he gets one. Michael took one bite, he gets one. Brooke took three bites, she gets three. Owen took three bites, he gets three. Also, I want to address, I did say in the rules that you must state in the video why that's your favorite chocolate chip cookie. Um, and I don't think Brooks was a chocolate chip cookie, but because I only caught that today when other people, when Javier and Michael uh, posted, I'm going to allow Brooke and Owen to keep theirs uh, because I did not, I didn't make it, I said it in day one, but I didn't really make it concrete in the, in the group chat every day. And I didn't catch the person because Brooke and Owen messaged this a long time ago. And if I had caught it then, I would have told them you have to resubmit with the correct criteria. So I'm allowing them to keep it. Uh, but moving forward, it has to be a chocolate chip cookie. And you have to say why it's your favorite chocolate chip cookie. Um, and from now on, regarding Javier 2, if you take one bite, it's one wedge. If you have them available, two bites, two wedges, three bites, three wedges. You have each have three bites for the entire season. When they're gone, they're gone. And also, uh, they will stay on the wheel until you are landed on, in which case they will come off. When, uh, if wedges are not available, you have to wait until more real estate is available, kind of like in Monopoly when the houses run out. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, is everybody ready? Uh, let's get to... I'm so excited. I get to eat Lindor's. Let's get to... <coughs> The Lindor Sampler. So exciting. Okay, so a reminder. Uh, let's get to brown is all the original wedges. Black are the extra wedges. So Owen got three extra wedges. I was going to split them up, but I always split them up, and I thought it's the, it's the most twisted season ever. So let's leave them together, kind of like how Wheel of Fortune has you know the three together. So Owen has that space there. He has three. V is Javier. Uh, v because Argentina, if you look at it on the map, the bottom part of Argentina kind of looks like a vagina. Uh, J, after one of the most famous quotes in Survivor history from season one, J for Jenna. Uh, Brooke has three that she added to the wheel. I can never get this the way I want it. Yeah. Uh, and then the brown are the original ones. So Tom's original. Shawnee and Stephanie were removed because they... Uh, they, Stephanie already went, Shawnee was evicted, so if I land on a blank wedge, I spin again, which means there's currently two wedges for next week available. Some more should be added. Uh, e is Ronnie. R is RJ. O is Owen. That's his original one. Michael did add one. I put it next to him, so brown is original black, the one he added. N is Kennedy. K is Kilby. J for Jenna. V for Vagina. Argentina, Javier. C, Callum. B, Brooke. G Bridget and A Ray Ann. Okay. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm so excited. This is it. We are only doing one Lindor this week. It's predetermined prior to the start of the season, whether we do one or two. Here we go. Okay, we are landing on Okay. <laughs> Javier, uh, just so you know, if you had picked two or three wedges, those would have been yours. But anyway, here we go. We're going to spin again. Come on! E! For... Ronnie. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. Anyway, why are there three people with R names? Why? Couldn't your parents name you, like... Zachary or Satchel or something? I don't know. So anyway, so we've landed on E for Ronnie. I almost landed on the blank wedge a second time. I would have thrown the wheel out the window. So Ronnie has decided he is going to uh, accept the temptation. Oh, and of the 13 house guests, 12 said yes. One did not get it in on time. Again, that person got lucky they didn't get landed on. So Ronnie has said yes. And just like last week, he picked Almond. He's also the only person who uh, has picked Almond. So exciting. So exciting. 
Okay, Ronnie, you picked almond and. Uh, here we go. Almondy taste, but it tastes more like marzipan. And if it's gonna taste like marzipan, you should advertise it as marzipan. So this is false advertising. So it is something bad. Ronnie, I'm sorry. You got something bad. Now there was three bad ones left. We don't want the Pooh Brown Power Veto. We don't want the Pooh Brown Power Veto. Anything but the Pooh. Anything but the Pooh. Not the Pooh. Oh, at least it's not the Pooh. The chamber. Ronnie, you have fallen into a chamber made of chocolate. And while that seems like a good thing, the chamber is closing in on you. The walls are closing in. And as much as you love chocolate and you think you can eat your way out, you will eventually die if the walls close in on you. So, what does this mean? Sorry, this actually is so good. Oh my god. Fuck. If Lint had no calories, I would probably eat like 20 of these in a day. I'd go bankrupt from how many I would actually eat. God, that's good. Okay, so what the chamber means is... You must compete, like Michael did, in a one-player math-based competition called The Matrix. If you win the competition, you escape the chamber, and you actually get a reward. If you win the competition, you will win a major advantage that you can use in any competition up to and including the week of the final six. But you fail to escape the chamber. Why didn't I make it an escape room? Uh, I guess I wanted to be different. If you fail to escape the chamber in the Matrix competition, then you cannot play in the next five competitions. That includes both Head of Household and Golden Power Veto. Karen couldn't play in three last season. Um, but like Karen last season, shout out to Karen, she likes the clout, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but like Karen, it's five immediate competitions, so if you happen to not be picked for a veto, oh well, that still counts. Also, I forgot to mention, if you lose the chamber comp, you also lose the ability to ever be Willy Wonka. That's right, so you would not only lose the ability to play the next five competitions in a row, but you would not be able to be Willy Wonka. If you've already been Willy Wonka, it doesn't matter, but if you haven't been Willy Wonka yet, then you would lose that privilege. So the chamber comp is critical. Sorry, Ronnie, but on the bright side, you didn't get the poo. All right, with that said, who will Tom nominate for eviction? And who will Willy Wonka nominate as the third nominee sitting next to Michael? Find out tomorrow. And we'll pick players for the Golden Power Veto competition, which is going to be so much fun. I can't wait. Saturday is Extra Whip with Brazil, Nicole, and hopefully Shawnee to discuss what happened. Well, we know what happened. Uh, Sunday is the Golden Power Veto competition. Monday, the Golden Power Veto ceremony. Tuesday, the final three nominees plead their case. And Wednesday is the next live eviction and head of household competition where another house guest will be evicted from the Big Brother Cheesecake 7 house. Uh, get a tummy ache from eating too much chocolate and uh, lose their shot at the $700 cash prize. I'm Andrew Chef like Moonbez. Take care and remember, I may have butterfingers, but I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Good night.